guys welcome back to gypsy in the city tv today's video is going to be my april favorites well actually it's going to be a combination of my march and april favorites because i skipped that on march i'm so sorry so it's going to be a little mix of both i usually tend to talk a lot in these type of videos just because I'm so passionate about the products that I really, really love during the month. So I'm just going to jump into this video and get started. But before I do that, if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can stay updated with all of my videos. And if, you know, you're a regular here, thank you so much for stopping by. You guys know that I appreciate you so much. Okay, let's get started. So in April, I went to Miami for a conference and I actually met some of the girls that do PR for Milani Cosmetics. And they gave us a nice little care package with their latest launches and newest products. And in that package were these amazing, amazing, amazing brushes. So Milani has launched brushes. Now, I'm not sure if they're available in the drugstore yet because I have not seen them in any of the drugstores that I have gone to. But I will definitely do my research and let you guys know where you can actually buy these. So um, I have a powder bronzer brush, two contour slash brush brushes, a uh, blending brush, and a flat eyeshadow brush. And I also have a pointy brush, like a pencil brush. Here it is. A pencil brush or a crease brush right here and let me tell you first of all I love the the way that they're designed with the gold and the black they look very chic they look very you know high-end um, the actual bristles are synthetic they're super soft and they blend very well I've been using them all of April all of May and I am obsessed with them um, the price point is great as well I'm highly impressed if you guys see these brushes in your local drugstore or anywhere, I highly recommend that you pick them up. My favorite is the powder slash bronzer brush because it's so thick and packed and dense. And I've also been loving these um, blush slash contour brushes. They're really good to get into the contour because they're nice and small. And then they're really great for putting blush because it allows you to really pack on the product right on the apples of your cheekbones and blend it out. So these brushes are amazing, guys. Okay, next, moving on to liquid lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks are huge. Everybody's still obsessed with them. I'm actually wearing one on my lips right now. I know you guys are probably going to comment and be like, what lipstick are you wearing? So I have a few different brands to show you guys. And uh, let me show you Milani first. I'm searching for these damn lip creams everywhere because I know people are raving about them on YouTube and I couldn't find them anywhere. So when I when they gave it to us in this box, I was so freaking happy because I've been dying to try these because I heard so many great things about them. And guys, like, they are amazing. I don't know if there's any of these left in your local drugstore, if you see any on the shelf, but if you do, do not think twice about it. Even if it's like a weird color, just freaking get it. I promise you, you will love it. The colors are beautiful, so I have a more love, loved, and sweetheart, and I'm going to swatch them very quickly for you guys so that you guys can see how gorgeous they are. These are the three colors here. Here we have sweetheart. Here we have Loved, and here we have Amore. They are very pigmented. They're very smooth on the lips. Uh, they do flake, I will say, after about... When, you're, when you wear them for a really long time, they do flake. But then again, like, they're drugstore, so I think for the price... Um, you know, I don't mind the flaking. I feel like with liquid lipsticks, you're either going to get a creamy product that flakes or you're going to get a product that lasts long but is sticky. Like, you, I've yet to find a liquid lipstick that lasts as long and is not sticky. I feel like you just can't get both. Either it's going to last you a long time but it's going to have some type of stickiness to it or it's going to be creamy but it is going to flake. If you guys have a liquid lipstick formula that you love that lasts a long time and is not sticky and it doesn't flake, comment below and let me know so I can try it out. So that was from Milani. Now we have Gold Label Cosmetics. Gold Label Cosmetics is a cosmetics line made by a professional makeup artist. I'll enter all her information below. And I got this in the mail last month and I've been really impressed with this. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know that I kind of went on a little rant about how I would not be picking up the Kylie Cosmetics lip kits and that I would not be doing a review of them on my channel because I feel that um, the Kardashians and Jenners don't need my $30 and I'd rather support small-owned businesses, woman-owned businesses, minority-owned businesses that make great products that are just the same if not better so um next time you purchase products especially makeup think about who owns it think about the people behind it um 
you know, there's a lot of amazing women right now who have kick-ass makeup brands, makeup line, cosmetics lines, uh, skincare lines. And, you know, just remember that when you, that as a consumer, you have the choice. You have the choice where you're going to spend your money. So why not spend it on a hardworking woman that has worked her ass off to launch this line or, you know, a minority-owned business or things like that. So just keep that in mind when you're purchasing your cosmetic products. So on my lips right now, I have this color. It's a hot pink. It's called Style Section, and these are actually matte uh, lip pens. So you see it's a pencil here. You pump this right here, and the color comes out through there. Um, I think this is kind of cool. It's different. Um, this applicator feels really nice on the lips. So what I usually do is I take this corner here, and I line my lips with that corner first and then I go ahead and fill them in and it dries matte as you can see um this does have a little bit of stickiness to it but like I said earlier the ones that are a little bit stickier tend to last longer so this one as you can see there it does have a little bit of sticky to stickiness to it what I like to do is put on one layer and then wait till it completely dries and then I go ahead with the second layer just so it could be like kind of like bulletproof and it can last me the entire day and these have great, great staying power. So then the other color I have is Empowering and Trust Fun and let me swatch them for you guys. This color right here is the one I have on my lips, Style Section. This is um, Trust Fun and this is Empowered. So that's what that looks like right there. Be careful when you guys are applying the product. Um, you want to pump it and then wait a little bit for the product to come out. Because I know some of us get impatient. We don't see any product. So we keep pumping and then all, all this product comes out. So just have a little bit of patience when you're putting this on. And let the product come all the way out. Another liquid lipstick brand that I'm really loving right now. I know I should have just turned this into a liquid lipstick video. I'll make sure to do that in. I'll make sure to do that video though soon. So from Jordana, I received a little care package and it had their sweet cream matte liquid lip colors. These are like $2.99 at the drugstore. Wow, I really, really love this. I've been wearing this color, which is Rose Macaroon nonstop. It's such a beautiful, like rosy kind of nude. And these are very affordable. So I have these two colors and I also have like a bright orange one that is somewhere around. I'm going to swatch these for you guys as well. These are super affordable. Um, they don't, they're not sticky. They're creamy. They don't last that long. You do have to re... You do have to touch them up throughout the day, but still for the price, like, you cannot beat this. These are gorgeous. This is the Rose Macaroon one, and then this pink one is Raspberry Tart. Aren't they gorge? Two weeks ago, I had the honor to be invited to the Maybelline headquarters and chat with their team about their new product launches for next year, kind of discuss what we liked and what we didn't like about the product. It was such a cool experience, and I'm just so thankful for that opportunity. Um, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you got to see a little behind the scenes. So, of course, they gave us product to take home, and I've been playing around with some of their stuff. I've really been loving... Um, the products that they sent us and I'm definitely going to film a full Maybelline drugstore tutorial for you guys because let me tell you I was using their products like back to back and a lot of you guys on my snapchat kept asking me what did I have on and it was all Maybelline so I'm gonna film a video for you guys so two things that I've been loving from Maybelline is the last sensational luscious full fan effect mascara it looks like this this is what the brush looks like it really does let you get in there and kind of like um lengthen your lashes and it also vol volumizes it i love that the wand is kind of like tapered so you're able to get in the corners and really dig in there and get those lashes i've really been liking this mascara so you guys definitely check it out it looks great on its own but when you layer it layer it with another mascara whoo amazing and then their master conceal um camouflaging concealer wow this concealer kind of i was super impressed with it it reminds me of the mac prolonger concealer and you guys know that that is my holy grail concealer i've gone through about six bottles of it i love that concealer and this concealer reminds me of it and it's available at the drugstore so you guys if you guys if you're looking for a new concealer and you don't want to spend that much money definitely check out the maybelline master conceal and the color that i wear i believe is yeah and the color that i wear is medium and last but not least i have some fragrances that i want to share with you guys you guys know that i love fragrances i love smelling good got it from my mama let me share with you guys what i'm loving this month 
fragrance here is the Ellie Sab Rose Couture. First of all, look at the bottle. How cute is the bottle? It's just, it looks super cute on your vanity. It's very modern. It's very chic. It's very feminine. I love the bottle, but let's talk about the fragrance. Well, it's called Rose Couture, so obviously it smells like roses. And you guys know I'm not a big fan of rosy, flory type of fragrances, but this also has a fruity, sweet woodiness to it and so it creates a nice balance between the floral and it's just very crisp it's very modern it's very feminine it smells so good and i've really been loving this fragrance oh, love it and then the last favorite of the month is the salvatore ferragamo emozione emozione is that Italian? is that italian right um this bottle is super cute too like first of all how cute they're like cousins or something like how cute are these bottles right now? I love like this detail right here with the leather or pleather. I'm not sure what kind of material this is, but it just looks super chic, super sleek. Love. This fragrance is like for that iconic woman that is just living life to the fullest. It smells so, it's just so classic. It's, it's a classic fragrance. It's very airy and luminous. It has Florentine iris and a lush white musk. And it's really like the perfect fragrance for fun summer days and nights. Like this is definitely going to be my go-to fragrance in the summer, especially for nighttime because it's just, it's just bomb. Like if you guys pass by Macy's counter or fragrance department anywhere in a store, make sure that you take a whiff of these uh, perfumes and let me know what's up because they smell amazing as you guys know in my last favorites video I started this thing where I was going to pick one item from all the favorites that I mentioned and it is called my treat yourself item so this month's treat yourself item from all the favorites that are picked actually it's really hard to pick just one and I have two treat yourself items for the month one of them is a little bit more affordable than the other so if you can't get both then obviously get the cheaper one but if you can get both then treat yourself and girl thank me later the affordable treat yourself item of the month is definitely the gold label matte lip pens these colors are just so beautiful i mean like how gorgeous is this pink that i have on my lip now i really really love the way that these colors look they last a long time they are a little bit sticky like i said but Oof, last time I wore this color, I got so many compliments on it. And not only that, you're supporting a small business. You're, suppo you're supporting a woman-owned business. You're supporting a minority-owned business. Like, why would you not want to support that? So, if you're thinking about buying the next Kylie Lip Kit, stop what you're doing and go check out these matte lip pens. I promise you, you will love them. The colors are absolutely beautiful. Definitely want to add the other colors to my collection. I know that they have a really pretty nude color, and I could only imagine how that looks on the lips. So, boom. And, you know, if you could afford to treat yourself a little bit more, then I definitely recommend this Salvatore Ferragamo Emozione fragrance. It just smells so, so bomb. Like, if I had to pick between the two, I would definitely go with this one. It's just so... Oof, I'm going to be wearing this all summer. This is going to be my Mata Hombre scent of the summer. If you guys don't know what Mata Hombre is, it means man killer. My aunt has like this funny thing where like her signature fragrance, she calls it her Mata Hombre fragrance. So it's like her man killer fragrance. This is going to be my Mata Hombre fragrance for the summer. Looking for revenge all summer 2016. Okay. Well, that was my April favorites with a little bit of March in there, you know, because I missed the month. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, stop what you're doing and subscribe right now. So, do you have any favorites this month? Please comment down and let me know if we share any of the same favorites. If there's any liquid lipstick formulas that you guys think I should try, definitely comment below. Also, I would love to know what your Mata Hombre fragrance is going to be this summer. So, if there's a scent that you know that is going to be your man color scent, summer 2016 make sure that you comment it down below because i definitely want to check it out the next time i'm in a department store so thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate you i love you thank you for being here don't forget to subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next video bye Today's April. Today's April. No. We're in May. Oh my. What is wrong with me?
like what <laughs> don't mind me i'm just going crazy oh, i can't believe i can't believe it okay we did it